and to go over what would make me violate the rule. So coming back to this, cash flow times 12. Let's say your cash flow is 15,000 bucks. That's 180,000 a year. If I only have a $50,000 debt tool, I'm going to be very comfortable chunking more than 33,000, right? So the rule is, to violate the rule, is if your yearly cash flow is more than 66% of your main debt tool, then you can chunk equal to what your cash flow is in a year. In some cases, maybe the whole amount because you're a high income earner and maybe your credit is not that great. And so over time, we can obviously get increasing limits to bring it to, you know, 100, 150, 200,000 so that we can balance out the, the leveraging. But that is the only rule to violate the rule. Now, why is that important to know? Because if you're doing debt snowball, right, it's based off your cash flow. So if you're cash flowing 15 grand a year, you can only throw a max of 180,000 towards your debt. Does that make sense? Or if you're cash flowing 500 bucks, you can only throw an extra $6,000 towards your debt. And then anything that you gain from that six grand that you pay off, that's additional cash flow that you factor into the equation. So in order for velocity banking to actually go faster, we need to chunk more than what your cash flow is times 12 to actually go ahead of debt snowball, right? 